Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and, and it feels so good to say that and do my little crouch thingy. Uh, but anyways, we are back, and I'm doing something somewhat different, but also kind of the same. Uh, we're making another SCP, but it also is just a bottomless pit. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit cooler than I think you're thinking. It also kind of counts as a wormhole. It's a fun little thing. I have a good plan for it, I think, I hope. But yeah, I think it should be a fun little video. It will be really cool. Uh, we'll be going into a lot of command blocks and whatnot, which could be a little bit challenging, but overall it should be pretty easy-ish, at least the main structure. Uh, so yeah, let's see what I can do here. So the first step is of course to make the actual pit itself. Uh, now this is obviously not endless, it's actually a pretty- it's a long fall, but it's not that like cool or anything. Uh, but we- we need to make this so that you can actually see the bottom. Uh, and to do that, I have a decent plan. Let's see how- let's see how it works out. First we need to replace most of this with stone. Now that we've replaced it with stone, you can still see the bottom and it's very apparent. Uh, so the next step, I think, would be to fly away very, very far. Uh, make sure we got those coordinates still copied. Yep, we do. Uh, and we're gonna actually make an infinity room. If you guys do not know what this is, uh, I've actually made a video on it already. It's very cool. I'll leave a little uh, thing in the description to where you can find it. Uh, but we need to get out a map, and basically we're gonna make a black void. And basically what I did is just covered this whole map area in black concrete. Now it's pitch black, uh, and now we can put this in an item frame and it should make a really cool effect. And you guys can start to see already the effect that I'm going for here is you can't see how far this goes. Um, but if we just pop off a few item frames, now you can see it's really not that deep at all. Uh, but the key here is that we still need the uh, hole up there to get smaller and smaller until it's basically not noticeable. So that way this player can be teleported out and go to someone new and basically just forever be falling until we shoot them back out, which should be a pretty fun thing. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan right now. The few problems I'm having though is that obviously it's switching from stone to blackness. Yeah, it's not great. And second of all, we have that edge, but I'm sure I can find a way around that, right? Maybe? And it's been well over an hour of just me thinking solutions and figuring out things, but we have this so far. Uh, yeah, basically we just covered this whole area in maps, and it's looking really good, but it's not deep enough because it's still very- you can obviously just still see the top. Uh, so I have a plan, and it has to do with seamless teleportation, um, and I've actually made kind of a video on this. I figured out this effect uh, quite recently, and I love it, it's amazing. Uh, but basically, we're gonna seamlessly teleport ourselves uh, so that we can basically make a nice long tube that just is goes from all the way height limit to all the way to bedrock. Uh, the only problem with that is that... Yeah, our computer is already struggling because each item frame is an entity and I'm rendering 753 at the moment and we have to have that for the entire tube. So after a few hours of struggling, it was just getting really laggy and the uh, seamless teleportation was kind of freaking out. Uh, I thought of a new idea and this is not survival, this is definitely 100% modded. Uh, but it's still a really cool mod that basically allows you to do things like this. So as you can see, this is a portal, but it's leading to the nether, and it's going to take a second for the lag to go away, so I apologize. Uh, but yeah, basically, you can see inside the nether before you go through, and this opens the door to a lot of really cool things. This mod also comes with a portal helper block, though, and if you use like you would do a portal, it basically makes uh, seamless teleportation using these two portal frames, which is really weird and really, really cool. The nice thing is you cannot even tell that this is like a portal because if you surround it by a different block or just by nothing, it looks really, really nice and smooth and it's just like seamless. So this is actually what I'm gonna be using uh, to make the bottomless pit. And I've actually made already a nice little tester right now, but I think it's actually gonna become the like official bottomless pit. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Of course, these would be off in the distance really far away. I just wanted them close by so that I could work with them easily. Uh, but yeah, what we have here is we're only on like Y, like, 4 or whatever at this point. But yeah, you can see obviously it goes past bedrock. Except you can't build past bedrock and we're still falling. 
Uh, so yeah, this is just making use of portals, and if we exit out of here, you can see that really we're just in one of these long tubes that you guys saw. Uh, but yeah, the reason that I have these is because I'm actually gonna make it like a nice fade to black as you go deeper and deeper, but at one point we're just gonna make it so that you have a portal on top of a portal and you just keep on falling forever. And honestly, this effect is already done. Um, let me just explain what I did here. So basically, if you come down here, you'll see that there's these sea lanterns. This is actually a portal, so if I press F3, you can see right here uh, that my Y value is changing uh, from 0 to 256. So we're at the world, like, top now, basically. Uh, and basically, I'm using the sea lanterns here because if I use sandstone, I guess this weird glitch right here because uh, this is a light producer of uh, sea lanterns, you know, they produce their own light and that will get rid of that glitch. Uh, so it's not the nicest thing, but it will work. Uh, so I have those at just a few places. I think the other one's right over here, uh, as you can see here. But these are the only two places, uh, and that's another portal. So basically what's happening is if I go into F3, you're being teleported from the bottom of this big pillar to the top of this one so you can continue to fall. So you can see that this is actually the bottom of that big thing. It's just, yeah, it, it's all funky and weird because there are portals and whatnot. Um, but yeah, basically once you hit the bottom of this, you'll be transported to that one. Uh, and this one has a nice little fade thing, uh, so it's a nice little thing to black. Uh, and then from here, you'll keep on falling for a while. And then right about here, I believe, nope. I guess it's one more right about here you'll be given blindness um, and this just doesn't allow you to look up or down and you can just fall forever it is important to note that you are falling um, you can see my y value is changing you don't hear any like thud when you hit the ground there's no particle effect effects because you never hit the ground um, but yeah the only thing is though I really like this one uh, episode from gravity falls and at the end they actually get shot out and I think I've made a really cool effect here, but I do want, after you're falling for like 10 minutes straight, you get shot magically back out all of a sudden. Uh, and although that will be somewhat challenging, now that we have this blindness effect, it should make it a lot easier. Now this is going to be using quite a few more command blocks, so if you do not like that, uh, you can just skip to the end of the video-ish. I'll show off the finished product. Uh, but yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to turn this off first because it's just blindness and it's so dang irritating. There's a command block right up here uh, that when you get close to it, uh, you can see on the uh, right hand side that there's a little scoreboard called Fallen. Uh, and when I get close to it, it goes up. Uh, so when you fall past this thing, you'll go up by about three-ish. Uh, so what you, what happens though is that when you hit about 50 or more, uh, if you go past these command blocks, uh, this one will basically just teleport you, I think, 11 blocks uh, t on the x-axis, and that will bring you over into this tube. And this tube actually does not have portals on either end, and that's how you're going to get out. Uh, and then this other block right here, uh, this just resets the scoreboard to zero. Uh, so that way, you, you know, if you don't, if you jump in again, you don't just instantly get teleported over to this side. And then the plan is, once you get teleported over to this side, uh, you're going to go to the very bottom. There's going to be a portal. That portal is going to connect to this side, and it's basically just going to launch you out. So it should work well. Um, Although it's, it, it should be interesting, it might be a little bit scary. Recording got a little bit messed up here, but basically I made a portal at the bottom where you're supposed to escape. So when you go through it this way, once you come out, you cannot go back in. Um, and this is really nice, but the problem is that we want it to shoot out, not downwards. So what we need to do is just come over here, and I think what's necessary is to put in this command right here. There we go. And now we get shot out. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect! Oh my gosh, that looks better than I thought it would! I'm so happy right now. Okay, wait, I just need to, need to make this look a little bit cleaner, but that looks amazing. Done, so let us jump in. I am so dang excited for how this looks. Uh, I think that this actually worked out way better than I expected. It really sucks that it's a mod. I wanted it to be just command blocks, but... I mean, I'm gonna take what I can get at this point. Uh, so this is gonna take a while though, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. Oh, I did not enable the blindness, which is a nice effect, but it's honestly not necessary. I mean, it's kind of a harsh change too. We're gonna see how it looks without it. 
Okay, here we go. We're, we should about be teleported any second now. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we do probably want the blindness. But you get yeeted out and fall right back in because it's a lot for the portal mod to handle. Uh, but I might be able to clear that lag up by putting this on a server, possibly. I'll try that, but yeah, I think the blindness is sadly necessary. I think I'm gonna make it so that it takes away the blindness, that just makes it a little bit better. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is it did not reset my falling, uh, to something else, and I just messed up severely. Like I was saying, it did not take my fallen, um, variable back down, so I think I need to change something in here. So what we'll do is just basically take that command block and put it up over here. Uh, and that way, anyone who falls down this final stretch will get their variable reset for them. But if there's multiple people going at the same time, uh, we'll reset like one of theirs and then keep the others. And in the end, I just disabled that thing anyways because when people fell in, it just took too long for them to get out again. Uh, because sometimes they couldn't make it out once they actually made it to the bottom, if that makes any sense. Uh, but anyways, I like it. I think it worked really, really well. Um, it is a little bit weird, <laughs> like right there. Um, but hopefully putting the, it on a server will at least help. Um, but overall, it works pretty well. Uh, and if we continue to fall for a while... Alright, so we're blinded right now. There we go. And the exit. Oh, and I missed the exit. Uh, but hopefully it will shoot you up a little bit farther. Once again, hopefully a server will help with this. I really do not know. Uh, but now's the fun part where I actually show this effect to my friends and see how they react. Okay. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. You wanna jump in the pit? Yeah, I'll, I will. Alright, let's go together. Three, two, one, <laughs> jump. We are falling for an awfully long... Oh, oh. I cannot see no more. Okay. I'm in blackness. Oh, already? You fell fast. Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. I'm still in the blackness. This is a bit scary. It's very vibes. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I messed with the effect a little bit. Don't worry about that piece of sandstone that you just saw. I, where, 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 I'm falling with the blocks. Oh, there's more. There's more? <laughs> Oh, I saw another one at least. Uh-uh. There's another one. Okay, well... Well, I'm still falling. Oh, uh, yeah, there's gonna be one more. <laughs> yeah, okay. There should be... Okay, it, th there's no more. There's, there's no, no more. more. <laughs> I'm still falling. doop a doop a doo doo okay. doo I'm, if, if this is not, like, Gravity Falls and we don't pop out right back to the top, I'm going to be immensely, um, sad. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Evan, but this is a oh, bottomless dang. pit. <laughs> no. Oh, it, I almost went back out the top, but I'm falling again. Oh, you didn't make it out? No, yeah, there, there's a way out. <laughs> oh. You just have to, you have to time it correctly. Oh. Now I gotta fall forever oh, again. there we go. Actually, no, it's gonna be shorter this time. Once you fall in once, it's shorter. Oh, yeah, here's the top. Oh, 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 no. Bye! <laughs> oh, I yeah. Yay. Yay! Anyways, that's so, my bottomless pit. That's not really bottomless. Yeah. It's so cool. Humans fall back out, but if you throw an item in, like in Gravity Falls, it doesn't come back out, so... Any deepest, darkest oh, secrets, so you can just throw in. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, that's literally it. Thank you so much, Evan. <laughs> and no worries. Dude, my Minecraft is working now. Okay, wait, no, Drew! Can <laughs> I go again? No, wait! No, Drew! <laughs> Do you want to go together? I'll go with you. Press F1. Okay, and jump. I already did. Yeah, I saw. I keep on falling forever, huh? Well... Oh, it worked really smoothly for me, not for you. Oh, you are going fast. So I'm gonna fall forever, right? Well... <laughs> F1. No, hit F1 again. For me. Is it dark for you now? Are you blind? Yeah, yeah. Alright, make sure you're pressing F1. Make sure you can't see your hotbar. No, something scary is gonna happen! Oh. 
It's not, I promise. There's no jump scares. There's no jump scares. I promise. Cross my heart. Okay, how long does it take you to build? Probably like two seconds. And then just like put some piston march, keep on falling over the same thing over and over again, huh? Um, no, it took me actually a few days to get it working out. And then I realized that the way I was doing it was inc- Are you breaking blocks? No. Don't lie, tub me. I literally didn't hit a block! Okay, well then someone else messed this up, so... Anyways, you're getting close. To what? Are you gonna say hi or something? Like... No. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and look at my- It looks like my computer's off right now, I don't even know if I'm playing <laughs> Uh-huh. Wow! What? Wow, I, I just refell through the thing again. <laughs> you're supposed to try to get out, bud. <laughs> Oh, I'm flying back up. No, don't fly. Don't fly. Just the best way to... The... Yes. <laughs> the best way to do it is just keep on falling. Trust me. <laughs> so I wait all of this time again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please don't. It messes me it up for me. It doesn't mess like up the effect, but it's really hard to fix it. Anyways, you're almost out. Oh, buddy. <laughs> it's not possible, is it? It's not possible. No, I made it. <laughs> How'd you like it? <laughs> I liked it. Oh wait, we're recording? Should I be oh, reacting? Oh yeah, we're going in. Well, you don't have to react that much. <laughs> Anyways, right wait, so here gets a little- So you just jump in? Oh no. Yeah, you just jump oh, in, my, girl. Wait, this is so creepy. There's nothing else to it. Wait, is that dot growing? Huh? No, it's really far away. It's just not <laughs> rendered yet. Oh my gosh. We'll get blindness <laughs> in just a minute. There we go. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we're gonna be here for a while if you wanna it take over like WASD. <laughs> The way it's like curving in, like I feel like I'm going through like jelly. <laughs> that's fair. It's like it's like one of those things where like you're watching something that's like turning so fast that it starts like going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those it things. It keeps like stopping and like redoing itself and like stopping. All right, we should. We're be just gonna be that. here for a while. We'll be here for a while. How, so it's bottomless. I, I assume that's the that's the gist. That's the gist. Yeah. Yeah. No bedrock here, boys. Okay, but you we all know that you're uh, Gravity Falls stand, so like Oh my gosh, it's like that episode. It's bottomless like that pit. episode. Bottomless pit. Who wants to see a card trick? Yeah. Oh my god, he's just falling. <laughs> he's just falling. I think we should tell ghost stories now. Um, I don't think we're gonna have the time, but if you wanna start It's just a gravity falls right there. <laughs> oh, this is really long. This is big. It's a bottomless pit. I can make so, this like actually bottomless if I wanted to. So when will it stop? Um, I don't know. We can check. You should line it with lanterns. Oh, like right now. Ah! Whoa! That was fun. That's exciting. I like it. Yeah. You should line it with lanterns. It'd be fun so you can like see it. That's fair. Just like oh. one side or something or like two sides. It will ruin the effect a little bit, but also oh. like that's fair. Like it won't really, but like it would a little bit, you know? Oh, <laughs> no, not doing that again. <laughs> That's fun. Anyways, yeah, it seems like you're falling through all of this. Really, you're not. You're falling oh. through this pillar specifically like about 10 times. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's and then you cool. get teleported in this one, and then this one just leads right into here. That was exciting. Oh, I got launched that time. <laughs> That's that was fun. exciting. Anyways, bottom of the cool, Tian. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment below. It really helps out the channel. Speaking about comments, if you guys want to leave a suggestion on what to do for one of these, you know, like special effects in Minecraft videos, please do because they're so much fun to make, but I'm also running out of ideas on my own. Um, and before I go, I just want to mention Sticky Piston. Yeah! Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I 
really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 